Hey ladies, it's Megan, and today is March 19th, yeah, March 19th, 2012. Um, we are in the third month of my weight loss journey. This video today is just going to be about um, how I am improving my weight loss journey. I am going to start juicing, and April 1st, I'm going to start a 30-day juice feast. Um... What I can do is totally get my calories in through juice. Um, you know, I don't know how many I don't know how many calories are in this, but I know it has more than my daily servings of fruits and vegetables. Um, and drinking at least three of these a day, or replacing one meal with these, um, is going to make a big difference in my weight loss. So up until April 1st, I am going to start replacing meals with juice, um, or maybe just doing days full of just juice. But starting April 1st till April 30th, I am doing just juice. Um, it has plenty of iron. It has all my, you know, all my vitamins. Um, my breakfast daily is going to have 16 servings of fruits and vegetables with only 250 calories. Um, I'm sprouting my own uh, mug beans and sunflower seeds and alfalfa sprouts and um, buckwheat and so I'm going to get my fiber, my fiber, my fiber, my fiber, my whole grains and my proteins through my sprouted beans. Um, so um, I've researched it enough to know that this is actually a healthy way to lose weight. Um, now don't get me wrong, I'm going to be exercising, I'm going to be walking Hannah. I have a park by our house that has a little trail. And Hannah loves to go outside. So we are going to be outside every day. Um, so I'm not just, you know, starving myself and doing it that way. I'm actually eating juice or eating my fruits and vegetables through juice. So um, uh, I'm going to try to keep you guys updated, not every day, but maybe... Maybe every day I'll do little clips and then at the end of the week I'll piece them together. But um, if you know my story, you know that I have to lose weight to um, be able to conceive. And Matt and I would like to have our children pretty close together. And Hannah is going on 13 months. And I'd like to be pregnant by the time she's a year and a half. Um, my goal is August, you know, to conceive in August because I really want to have... A May baby, but you know, whenever God decides it's our time, it's going to be our time. But I'm definitely going to do my part. Um, this time I'm going to keep the weight off. Um, I'm hoping to use this juicing as a new lifestyle and not just a weight loss. Um, but uh, I'm really determined this time. You know, you learn from your mistakes. So I've learned that you can, you know, I was so excited about being pregnant and I had been dieting so much that. Um, I totally just went off the handle and um, my husband and I have sat down and talked about how with the next pregnancy we're just going to have to keep each other accountable and he's not going to eat unhealthy in front of me and he's going to help encourage me to stay healthy. So, um, Come April 1st I will do my um, day one juice feast. It's technically not a fast because I'm still getting everything I need in for the day. Um, I guess you could call it a fast from animal products, um, if you wanted to, but I'm going to call it a juiced feast. Um, the pictures you're going to see after this are me juicing um, a couple of days worth of juice that I've already done. Um, I really need a better juicer because I don't get, like, all of the juice out, so I probably could get twice as much juice or at least, you know, a third more if I had a better juicer, but I've been talking to my husband about that, and when we have the finances, we're going to look, you know, Craigslist or Amazon, but I found some really good ones, um, but that's it, um, so April 1st, I'll be back on here with a starting weight, and what my my meal, my menu plans are and whatnot. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.
Okay, ladies, so I am about to juice a couple days worth of juice. Two or three, I don't know. Hannah's in the living room playing. Probably about to get fussy. But um, I just want to show you kind of like my new journey. Don't mind the kitchen, it's a big mess. But um, right now I have um, today's juice already in here. Um, I usually store it in jars, but since glass jars, but since um, I'm juicing more, I put them in those water bottles, um, and then my new juice will go in the jars. So here we go. I've got um, a whole thing of organic spinach and broccoli that I cut up when I did my other juice, some red kale, two beets, some bok chow. One tomato, a head of celery, got some carrots down there, um, three cucumbers, and I think that's it. So I'll show you how much juice this all makes.